How's it going guys? In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, fix your uh, LCD Polaroid TV uh, if it makes a, uh, a buzzing or high pitch sound after you turn it on. Sometimes the sound uh, lasts about 10 or 15 minutes before it goes away. This particular model is the Polaroid FLM 3732. It's a 37 inch TV. Some uh, Polaroid models may have the same problem. As soon as you turn it on, you just uh, all you can hear is like a high pitch sound. Uh, let's turn it on to see uh, so that I can show you what uh, what it sounds like after you turn it on. It also may take a little while to warm up. Uh, that's another thing I noticed. So that's the uh, the sound that it makes. Uh, let's turn it off. Uh, yeah, so the problem with this TV is that there are two uh, bad capacitors on the back of the TV on the one of the boards. Uh, that has to be um, both of those capacitors have to be replaced. Uh, over time, they uh, overheat. They also become a little bulgy. So first, I'm gonna just uh, unplug our TV, unplug the power from the back. Um, this particular model is kind of easy to uh, take apart to get to the two bad capacitors. Uh, we only have a, a few screws. Uh, so the first one that we want to take out is this one over here, the big one. Um, there's two more on the side. camera closer just have to kind of pull it down it has like three little clips at the top and then we have a couple screws over here Just one more over here. Okay. Let's get a little closer. Okay, so um, okay, the uh, two capacitors that are giving us a problem here are these two over here. Uh, see if I can show you what they look like. They look a little bulgy compared to the other ones. You can tell it's a little blurry. Mm. 
yeah it's kind of difficult to tell uh, with the camera but they they look a little bulgy this two over here and so uh, we need to replace those two um, they are 10 volts uh, by 1000 microfarads bar, uh, farads. so we just need to um, take out this board uh, which is the power board as we can see At the end of the video, I'm gonna well, in the description of the video, I'm gonna post the uh, specification of the two capacitors that you need to uh, replace just in case uh, you need that. Uh, the ones that uh, are in the TV are 10 volts. You can also uh, 10 volts and 1,000 microfarads, but you can replace those by uh, by using. Uh, a 16 volt uh, 1000 microfarads just make sure that the 1000 is still there uh, the voltage it could be uh, the 10 volts that it, that it comes with or you you can also use the uh, 16 volt that's fine just make sure that the 1000 microfarads is the same on both Okay, so here's our board once again these are the two uh, capacitors that we need to replace so all you have to do now is just uh, uh, get your uh, iron out let's take this thing out get your uh, starting iron out and just uh, just take out these two capacitors over here uh, and just uh, sort of the two new ones and that's pretty much it after you do that just put it back on uh, put it put the bar the um, I'm sorry uh, put the screws back on the board onto the TV uh, plug in your cables make sure you plug all your cables okay don't forget about that just double check everything um, put the uh, the back of the TV uh, screw it back on and that's pretty much it that's all you have to do just uh, these two capacitors over here that's it that's it hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions uh, let me know please subscribe thank you